Ignore the haters, PlayStation VR 2 had a stellar first year with the best versions of cross-platform games, some AAA exclusives, hybrid games, and it looks like things are just getting started. In fact, 2024 looks like it could even surpass this year. So let's take an early look at some of the games coming to PlayStation VR 2 over the next 12 months that we're most excited for. Uh, Servios used to be one of our favorite VR developers, delivering awesome early titles like Raw Data and Sprint Vector. But their offerings over the last few years haven't given us much confidence in the future. The Walking Dead Onslaught, the flat screen versions of Creed, and Puzzle Bobble 3D were all painfully underwhelming. So the announcement that their next game would be a hybrid based on the Alien franchise was bittersweet. We definitely want to play an Aliens game in VR, we just hope that Servios has the chops to pull it off. And considering it was announced 16 months ago and we still haven't seen a teaser or even a screenshot, well, that's why it's in the last place on the list. There is no victory to be had here. When all we've seen so far is a CGI trailer, you'd think it would be hard to be excited for Behemoth. But when the developers behind it brought us Saints and Sinners, one of the best VR games of last gen, there's no reason to suspect that Behemoth will be anything less than legendary. And from what we've heard, the actions being shown in the CGI trailer do in fact reflect what you'll be doing in the game. So expect some exploration, awesome grappling mechanics, and giant beasts to scale when Behemoth launches in late 2024. This place is relentless. It devours everything. Here's another game that could technically drop at any time, but since we're hedging our bets on a 2024 release, this seems like the perfect place to talk about it. Aces of Thunder from the developers of massive hit War Thunder might very well be our first big flight sim on PSVR 2. The graphics look detailed, there's a ton of cockpit interactions, and they keep saying it was designed to take advantage of all of PlayStation VR 2's features. And considering it doesn't seem to be coming to Quest or PC VR, we could be looking at a massive PSVR 2 exclusive with this one. Okay, okay, no surprises here. I'm a massive fan of all things horror. And after playing through almost an hour of Madison on my Switch, and honestly being pretty freaked out even on a six inch screen running at 17 frames per second, I knew I needed to put it down, erase my memories Men in Black style, sorry, and experience the game for the first time in VR. Madison was supposed to be out this past Halloween, but at the last minute, publisher Perp Games delayed the game into 2024 in order to give it all the polish that it needs. In the near future, humanity is trying to achieve immortality by transferring consciousness to machines. Transhumanism, however, is a dangerous path, and poorly conducted experiments can end in tragedy. In this single-player VR adventure, you play as Agent Frank, and you're sent out to one of the research facilities with which contact has been interrupted, from which previous agents have never returned. Navigate through environments, solve puzzles, engage the enemy to find out the dark secret behind the experiments. Firmament's a new puzzle adventure game by the legendary game studio behind the best-selling games Myst and Riven. Featuring a steampunk aesthetic and deep storytelling with world building, discover the story of the seemingly abandoned world as you explore and unlock mysteries of three unique realms with thrilling new sights to see around every corner. The world of Firmament was designed to feel completely plausible, as though it was constructed with a bigger purpose in mind, a purpose you'll be compelled to discover as you play. So let's hope this goes better than abduction. Arkane Age is the next big action-adventure from Vitruvius Games, blowing away their previous effort Shadow Legend by a mile. Set in the Biochasm, a terraformed open-area fantasy world created by the Grand Arborist. Engage in full physics combat using Arcanite-infused swords and guns, and freely explore the densely-filled environments under siege by Hyperion's neural corruption. 
The mix of medieval and sci-fi tones here feel unique, and knowing the BRAF mechanics Vitruvius brought to the table last time around, we have some really high hopes for Arcan Age. We'll have some more information on this one for you soon. Oh man, this one almost squeaked by us, but Bulletstorm VR, originally slated to launch in December, just got a one month delay and is now a prime candidate for this list. It's a port of the PS3 360 classic, featuring fast paced physical gunplay and devastating melee combos powered by fully redesigned controls for VR. Use power kicks, slides, charge shots, explosives, and your environment to execute a symphony of skill shots. Developer and Kubo cited extra polish as the cause for the delay. So hopefully it looks crystal clear in the headset at launch and doesn't suffer from the same graphical flaws Green Hell VR. This is Lo-Fi, a fully immersive simulated reality that puts you in the driver's seat. You're the sheriff of City Block 303, a retro futuristic cyberpunk slum where the only inhabitants of note are the other lo-fi, humans too poor to jack into the platform, and rusting old robots that didn't achieve the intelligent singularity. Now, I've got to say that lo-fi is one of the more intriguing games on this list. It's been in development seemingly forever by just one guy, and that one guy has been intent on releasing lo-fi whenever it's good and ready. That said, at one point lo-fi was slated to hit PSVR 2 in 2023. So we're betting a 2024 release date isn't out of the question. Desires. Kick back and enjoy some leisure time. Or fuel your lust for high octane excitement. Time is a complicated business, isn't it, Asher? There's a ton of PSVR 1 games we want to see brought over to PSVR 2, and the team over at Mighty Eyes is going above and beyond by improving literally everything about Wanderer before bringing it to our new headset. The new version, now called Wanderer Fragments of Fate, has new areas, improved the environments and character models, added climbing, jumping, swimming, etc., which should keep us from ever having to teleport from one place to another again. Plus, Mighty Eyes has been listening to the community. So they're striving to get the game up and running at a native 90 FPS to give us the smoothest, best looking version of the game ever made. Careful. Not all is what it seems. You must finish what I could not. No fucking way! It's a little dangerous putting Resident Evil 4 Remake on the list, because there's still a slim possibility it'll come out before the end of the year. <laughs> but whatever. And considering how good the PSVR 2 version of Village turned out, not to mention the 10 out of 10 reviews the flat screen version of Remake got earlier this year, it's likely to be one of the best looking and best playing AAA games on the headset. There are still some questions though, like if Capcom has added even more VRAF mechanics or improved the graphical fidelity even more than Village. But either way, this is exactly what we've been asking developers for. Big, flat screen games, given the VR treatment. It's the only way to get a constant influx of AAA games on PSVR 2, so hopefully more developers get on board and change the perception of VR gaming forever. Think you can swallow me whole, huh? There were so many other games I wanted to add to this list like Contractor Showdown, Grimlord, and even Max Mustard for a little variety, not to mention all the delayed or nebulous games like Phasmophobia or Happy Funland that may or may not release by the end of the year. There's even a few unannounced games that I wish I could have included here as well. In other words, it seems that developers are really embracing PSVR 2 less than a year in, and we've got a ton of great games to look forward to.